somewhere waiting for me. My lover stands on golden sand and watches the ships that go sailing. Hello, motherfucker. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing? Thank you for tuning in my video. For those of you new to my channel, my name is Bashil Dragon, and welcome to my new Minecraft video. Um, now, since the last video, a lot of people actually did like it. Um, but someone did say that I swear too much, so I'm going to try to tone down the swearing for this video. Yeah. So anyway, um, today's an, and today's video is another like another show off video. I'm just um, like like the last video where I showed off my my bases. Um, I'm showing off some like three new bases. I have been actually you know what, four new bases I've been working on. Um, I got got rid of the older ones. I feel kind of bad because that that first base you saw in the last video that was like one of my best bases for a beginner but no so i've been playing creative mode and i figured i had to show you some new stuff so first off i'm going to show you my underwater base so i so let's get started okay and boom now as you, now you can probably see it down there because i have like all the lights going on and everything so First off, let's, get, let's do a little this. Um, this is a little lighthouse I made, and a little docking port. Now I made the lighthouse as you can tell out of what iron? Is that iron? Or quartz? No, that's iron. Uh, iron wood and you know, just make something different. You know, uh, and okay, let's go down here to the docks. Why is there a fuck? Why is there a zombie here? Oh god. Well, I'm in creative mode, saying a new shit. As you can tell, I have boats, I have switches, so, and, so I kind of made this, I was trying to make up, uh, something, so I figured why not do this, now, see, this is the, this is what I just figured out how to do, watch, look at that, now close that, so the boat don't get away, I made four of those, so just get, you know, people, everyone come by, I just, I just open up a port or something, now here's the descent, and since I am playing on creative mode, this is, yeah, see, this is what I did. The redstone. I literally had to square off this whole, I had to literally square off this whole section with windows and use sponges. Don't, don't you go on my base. I don't say you go on my base. Yo, get the hell out of here. Get out of here. Get. Go play with a guardian. Jackass. Jackhole. Now, as you can tell, as you can hear, there are some guardians down here. You know, what, let me hit a night vision. Oh, hush! Can't you see I'm doing a video, you crazy cat? Now, I just found that I just realized what these what these were. As you tell, I got as you tell, I got some massive protection going on here. Um, got a couple iron golems, which I actually made on land, and that was freaking out again. Got a couple elder guardians. So now let's check out the this area these areas. Um I, I don't know why I, close that. No, open that I me. Mean. Now I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but here we got some uh redstone torches for lighting. Um I got an upstairs version. Um I'm thinking we'll make this like a guest bedroom or some something like that. I don't know. And I got like little defense walls. Like that. Some defense walls. So you want to protect your butt. So here we go. And I got some guardians. Um, over here. I don't know what I'm going to do over here yet. That's still a work in progress. Um, so let's check out the door. Honey, I'm home. My own little security defense right there. My own personal golem. And of course, another security system like right here. What was that? What blew up? Anyway, I sure really get that potion back. That time limit's almost up. I just tell it's another security system. You know, it's just case ever, just case someone shows up, and you know, I don't want them in here. So go and close that. And of course, my storage system. And now this is. And then a little project I'm working on, um, I don't know what, what's this? Oh, it's up here. 
I don't know what this is going to be yet. Maybe a garden. Not really sure. Oh, farm. Raise some seahorses. So I don't. I'm, like I said, I'm still working on this. I haven't really worked on it much. So yeah. Let's go upstairs. Excuse me. Shit. I mean, shoot. And here's my bedroom. I still have an armory going. Whoa! What happened to these two? They moved. Of course, I got some more like red, redstone switches. I got some stairways. What's that? Is that a piece of gravel? What's that doing up there? I got, and also you can tell I got some yellow stained glass for you know the standard windows, and I got some blue stain for the area over there. Now let's head. Oh wait, huh? And this, um, this I come on. That's one thing I hate about creative mode. You have to be some over it something perfectly. There we go. Here we go. Here's my ex, um, escape. Just in case. Um, I also got some. I got some guardian. There you are. They're down there. I got guardians down here too. Some, cause I made got some elder guardians down here too. And this railway goes all the way down there to some dirt, to like a little beach area, and you know as a extra precaution. All right, so let's close that, open these, and let's go up. So like ever ever since I found out create creative mode, I've been going crazy on creating bases. So okay, let's go down. As you can see, yeah, see there's the I use blue stain for this area. Blue stain for this. So it looks like they're floating. Blue stain all around. Now let's get rid of this. I use blue stain for this too. These gotta be and of course, cobblestone steps. And got to replenish. And blue stain for this too. I mean, come on, you gotta think of it. The blue stain actually makes it look almost invisible. I just wish I did the whole house in blue stained glass now. But no. And uh, let me see what, what's over here. Oh, yeah, that's right. This one was. I don't know why I did this one for. What well, this was. Here we go. I don't know what this one... Oh, I think the... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Creeper! Walking penises, everybody. So, that's pretty much it for this base. And then look at this. I have, like, all, all these iron golems. And originally, I made them all up here. <laughs> I made them all up here. A witch. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. And over here, I tried to make one of those ender porter portals, but it I never got to work. Just go see the ender dragon. I got some beacons. And as you can tell with the, you can tell the theme of most of my builds, I use a lot of uh, sea lanterns. Because they're actually awfully bright, which is cool. Alright. Um, that's pretty much all I've done for this area. So let's go ahead and check out the new one. Let's go ahead and exit. Preparing to save level, yada yada yada. All right. Now let's check out bedrock. That's what. Um, and the one cave that's gonna be the last one. I've been working on that one a little bit more than anything else. So load. All right. This one is bedrock. This one I made before the undersea base, and this one was a little bit more creative. Uh, yeah, I do got pets. They're actually still behaving. Hi, kitty kitties. Pussy, 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 pussy. Oh, what the? Hey, where's my carpet? Son of a pickle snapper. Put that for the cats. I pamper my kitties. There we go. Yes, you're all good kitties. You're all good kitty. Alright, so, uh... 
Well, since we're inside, I might as well do the inside tour. Uh, down here is my storage area. Oh, shit. Okay. See? Of course, I got more redstone lanterns. Um, not really much of a storage, but, you know, that's still a work in progress. They're all work in progress, even the cave. Um, and the reason it's called bedrock is because I have tons of bedrock surrounding this whole building for security purposes. Okay, so I got this. This is my, this is the bedroom. Something is wrong. Where is every... Those ender guys, those endermen. God darn it. They keep taking myself. Here's my bedroom. Black bed, white carpet. No security door. Okay, and up here we have a lookout tower. I keep forgetting I can't climb. Go look out tower. They put a beacon over there recently. All right, so let's check out the outside. Of course, I got my furnaces, my storage, everything. All right, got some books for some knowledge. An inner dragon head. I got some birds. Now I have a question for anybody. Could I use this as a weapon? Because I thought I could wear that as a weapon or something. Now here is a good security system. Okay, let's okay let's get a creeper. Because creeper is always good to test things out. Okay, so first we put a creeper here. Ah, darn it! I got gotta wait till daytime. So anyway, kill the creeper. There it goes. Now I can spawn a creeper. So, anyway, um, might as well. So here's the outside. Let me get their night vision. Here's the outside of the house. There we go. Now, oh my god, you see. So here's the outside. There's the lookout tower. I got some beacons up there. Um, of course, the glass ceiling. I, I, have a, I just like the glass ceilings for some reason. Lots of cobblestone steps. A moat. A lava moat. And this is what I mean by bedrock. Because look at this. Just in case anybody ever shows up and they want to break in, they really can't go through the cobblestone. Well, they could go through cobblestone steps, but, you know. Here's my farm. I got the horse, some piggies, um, some iron golems taking a bath. This used to be a squid farm. I don't know why I'm doing the squid. Sheeps. And why is there a cow in there now? Oh, my... Oh, holy cow. All right. So this is going to be, this is a farming area, which um, I'm working on. Over here is a lighthouse. This is my lighthouse. Um, it's all made of sand, standard sands and red sand. So I have an iron golem in here too, a lot of lighting. And let's go up. Of course, some windows, some red tinted windows. Um, there. It's actually pretty high, so I could. So if I get any further away, I could look. Um, I have some. I put an arrow somewhere around here. I don't know. I think I'm far away that way or that way. I'm, I'm not sure. There's some ruins. I was gonna make that into a base, but nope. Cannot download Rainbow Six. Yeah, no kidding. I'm gonna get rid of it. Get the special edition. So. So that that's pretty much it. Oh, I made, I made a little passage pathway passageway to you know whenever I stop playing on creative mode and the funny thing is like when I first got to this spot I blew up all the land connecting it so all right now that we're now that we have got rid of a creeper let's test out the trap put that there put that there are you kidding me oh <sighs> Doggy, no, I won't do that. What? I don't want to hear it. You're my real life cat's bitching at me. For All right, screw it. Just show you. So this, so the way that I had this working was okay. I have a switch for the iron door. So the iron door. So if someone comes in, be like this. Come here. They only have like one 
If they come into that door and this is closed, I just do this. Boom. And they fall. But what's inside the pitfall? Oh, <gasps> let's find out. Whee! Here's what here's what they will expect. He's dancing. Here's what they expect. Three elder guardians. Even though I have a lot more. Right here. Let me get that night vision again. See? Look at this. No. Nah. They what are they doing there? They have are they mating or something? Anyway, um yeah, I kinda like went a tad bit overboard with this. This area right here used to just be like a standard little cave, but I kind of went, went a little too much TNT happy and blew most of it the sky. Blew most of it away. So, oh. so um. Oh, here. No. Is that it? That's the only problem. I can't remember where the door is. The way out. Well, one of them. Yeah, it's right here. Here we go. All right. All right, let's see if I can put a creeper in there now. Yes. Bye-bye. See? Whee! The evil eye. See? That's what it is, but normally they just get killed. So, anyway. um, Let's, let's close this. And before I didn't know when you had cats, they followed you like crazy. Because when I went to work on the lighthouse, I found these three fur balls just showing up out of nowhere. All right, stay in there. So anyway, let's take a let's take a full look at the outside of the house. So as you can tell, I got some banners going up, which is pretty cool. Lots of light. Lots of cobblestone steps and cobblestone and regular stone. And oh, there, there's some right there. Really, this is the way out. I did not know that. Anyway, oh, I thought I threw some out here somewhere. And well, I thought it was a zombie swimming for a second there. Like what the? So yeah. So oh wow, there they are. Where they went. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for this base. Uh, let's move on to base number four. Three, I mean. I'm going to be editing out all the, all the stuff. So, next one is Townhouse. At townhouse, I started with Survival, but it's like I really can't play a game on Survival anymore after being on Creative. All right, so this is townhouse. As you tell, I've been working on some beacons in this area. I got like five beacons going on at the moment. And here it is. It's not as great as the other ones, but the reason I call it townhouse is because I spawn I I right when I turn right when I enter this world, I spawn right next to a village. So I made this little brick passageway, created some golems. Because I, I always help these people out. And now I don't hear I am overdoing it on the golems. So. There's the farm. Of course, it's a two-story with a tower. Now let's go inside. It's all made of wood, like dark oak. Uh, oak, dark oak, all that stuff. Um, yeah. Stairs. Alright, now let's go inside. Okay. Close the door. And of course, like the other one, this comes with a security system. Boom. So just in case I'm playing, I see someone out there. I can just like, nope. I know, I see someone say, nope. Get in now. They can't get in because I got like iron bars outside too. And um, up here, I got the bedroom, as always. Ugh, zombies. Did that one move by itself? What the heck? What's going on? 
Wait a minute. Oh, I thought those things moved with the money. What the? And here I um I did some enchantments. I couldn't tell what they were because of my TV to right now my TV so small. And of course, as always, another tower. Really, guys? This is not a party tower. Oh, God. So anyway, let's go back downstairs. Down here is um, store uh, another storage. As you tell, as you tell, I have a theme. I always like put my storage on the ground for some reason. So all right, now let's. Ch and of course, I have a little trap. See? Whee! Lava pit. See? Lava pit. Perfectly camouflaged. It was until someone saw this video. <laughs> Anyway, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. So let's go on ahead into cave. Wow, big jiggly pants is uploaded an Overwatch video. Well, oh, dunk it. All right, so the next one is gonna be the last one, and this one is called Cave. This one I've been working on for a while, so it's like, yeah. I can't see! What the? Uh, what's going on? What? I don't know what's going on. I'm stuck. I was stuck. What the heck? <sighs> Let's try this again. Oh, there it goes. What the heck? Where where am I? Oh. What the How did I get up there? Okay. That was truly bizarre. Okay, that was weird. Um, this room I just started doing, I really have nothing for it yet. I was thinking make it, make it like a mine cart or something, I don't know. I still I got lots of redstone going on right here. Alright, now let's go up. This one is a little more detailed. First of all, let's go outside. Let's go outside and see the... the I'll show you that later. All right, so here we go. Now, once again, I came across another base and I have another village and I have been working on working on it. At first, it's just this one house and this one house and that well. But since I've been here, I've made that one, that one, that one. I made these two last night and this one. I, this one's a little different because I was doing something completely different. I had the idea for it. As you tell, a whole bunch of golems again. Um, I've worked on their pier, you know, made a little awning. Uh, yeah, made a two-story building, and I made these guys. Let's let's do this. I made these guys, the redstone man and the emerald man. Is that emerald? Yeah, that's emerald. I made the emerald man and the redstone man. I was kind of bored, so, and of course, a new lighthouse. Another lighthouse made of bedrock, emerald, iron, uh, iron, iron, and gold. And of course, with different color tinted windows. And of course, another beacon. So, 
I'm having like way too much fun with this area because <laughs> look at this. I, I made like what few buildings for this guy for this village. Gonna make them try and make them better pretty soon. So all right, that's going on to the base. Let me pressure plate like that. Uh, might as well show you this while I'm right here. So creepers, of course. So we put let's put two creepers and hit the switch. And this is what they fall into. I think this is my little uh, viewing room, my little pleasure. No, it's like one of my uh, torture room. I like to watch it, they burn. They let them burn. See? The reason they're taking so slow is because I put cobwebs. And apparently cobwebs make everything slower. So I decided to do that. Yes, burn. That's sadistic, I know. Now, now let's go with the best. Now let's get on with the area. Close that. As you tell, I have a golem in here too. What's up? And uh, his name is Kenny. I don't know why. I have glowstone going on like crazy. I have a storage center. Um, and like I said, look at that. Look at that. See, cobblestone, redstone, everything. Here is my storage. Of course, massive. Close this. Up here is the bedroom. Nothing going on up here much. Originally, this was going to be a sorter, but I can never figure out how to get the sorting machine go the sorting going. And here is the kitchen. You know, the furnaces, uh, anvil, brewing station behind the vines, workstation, gray carpets. Yeah, I don't want to download Fortnite right now, all right? I'm going to download some other stuff. Pressure plate table. Uh, for the decor. My little petting zoo. I have two polar bears. I had to be careful how far I went because I came out through the, through the other side of the mountain. Hello. Here is my little guardian pin. Once again, the guardians. Just not as crazy as before. See? I had a second one in here. I don't know what happened to it. I just wish they, I, I just wish I could spawn fish. That'd be impressive. Um, a little some flowers, some armory I've been just working on. Um, <laughs> ooh, the a special little room I've created. It's called the Love Den. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A little do a little uh, love making in here. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight, little, little sex cage. Warning, this part of the video may not be suitable for younger viewers. <laughs> Viewer discretion is advised. You know, like, like you want to get a little role play, put on the creeper head. Nah, it'd be like a... Come on, baby. Put the creeper head on. Fifty Shades of Creeper. Alright. That's enough of this kinky stuff. Let's get out here and check out the rest of the base. Uh, down there is the, the mines. Uh, the mining cart. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Here is the enchantment room. Yeah, the, the, the reason there's nothing here because there's some redstone again. Doesn't really light up much. I should really use like uh, see lanterns again. Anyway, all right. Uh, here's the garden. There's the diamond man. Tell me that does not look fuck. Tell me that does not look creepy. The diamond man. I decided to make one. Put one in here. <laughs> I was gonna make a gold one inside the mine room, but no. And here is like the emergency exit. This one I found out by it. This one I see, but boom, exit. Just boom, exit that. See? So like if someone in does invade, I could just get away over here, go in the little chest, get some water, and bail. Boom, boom. 
This is what I can do a self destruct. That's impressive. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Come back, my love, Dan. Originally, I had a witch in here, you know, but no. Nah. And originally here, I had creepers, but they just, like, disappeared after one day. And, you know, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. The bases and the touring. Um. Let me go on the outside. Yeah, and see, I put cobblestone here. No, like, bedrock, so just in case someone does show up, they don't. That wasn't me, was it? I put bedrock here so no one could like break through to go around the door. Yeah, look how bright this is. When I first showed up, there was like hardly anything. And tell me that is not creepy. <sighs> I, I, like I said, I like these uh, sea lanterns. They're pretty bright. Anyway, so that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, also, sorry, I just I'm wiping my eye and my hand hit the microphone. Sorry. Uh, so like I said, if you like this video, let me, uh, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think of these bases. If you want me to do a, a tutorial on any of this stuff, um, let me know in the comment down section down below. And uh, make sure you put like what. The name of what base you've seen it from, like say, oh, I want to see, I want to know how you did like a, uh, the docking, and I will show you, like how'd you do the docking and everything. As the sun rises on this video ends. Anyway, um, other than that, uh, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Support me on Patreon. I I do have some better rewards. Uh, like for. Like I'm gonna work on some pretty some good I'm working on some new videos right now. Some may be unsuitable for YouTube. So yeah. <laughs> but I yeah, so I, that that's gonna be in the future coming out in the future. Pretty soon or something. Anyway, um like I said, if you like this video, hit that like button, comment section down below, tell me what you think of, of the bases. If you want to see a tutorial, let me know and make tell me what base you want me from what base you've seen it from. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to hit that little bell button because for some reason the notifications have been working a little crazy on YouTube. Also, don't forget to support me on Patreon. Um, every every bit helps. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm still new to Patreon, but it's like I, every bit helps to help me bring better content for everybody, for you, the viewers, to enjoy. So, uh, first goal I'm actually working on is $500 to for better internet service and a laptop so I can do my better editing and all this stuff. So once again, this is Bishow Dragon signing off with I must go. My people need me. Oh.